Hello everyone, I'm Yubar Ringok, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. I was going to say I've been again. <laughs> okay, so we're picking up right where we left off, with Yugiri and trying to break these prisoners out. Yugiri is in our element. Despite the urgency of the situation, we must still proceed with the utmost caution to ensure the safety of the villagers. To wit, we must infiltrate the castrum without raising the alarm. JUST SAY ALARM! I'm gonna start speaking plain English for these fucking people at some point. You're not gonna just get fucking fed up with it. I will deal with any soldiers near the entrance. Stand watch for others approaching from the north until you hear my signal. Okay. So, stand out here and kill shit. Got it. I can totally do that. Yeah. Surveying. Excitement. For mercy, you spy no MPO patrols beyond bound for the cash room. A hawk. Cry pierces the silence. Shigiri is waiting. Yay! That was really necessary with no goddamn point. <sighs> Whatever. Where is she? Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. It can't be right. Wallafell? A Rogadin? I mean, the human I expected, but. You typically see Rogadin in human monster numbers. Not really any Wallafell. Hmm. Speak softly, unless the others hear us. We'll love the outside. Nobody's coming. We're pretty much good here. That's good. We may proceed as planned. These ones shall not soon wake. However, the others are too close to the villagers. Incapacitating them as I did these ones is far too risky. Fortunately, a solution presents itself. I would have you disguise yourself as an Imperial soldier and convince them that a changing of the guard is in order. You have to pick you have your pick of uniforms? They shall not protest. Yeah. Oh, but let me guess, I'm not going to actually wear it. Like, I don't get the actual stuff. With all due care and consideration, we leave the sleeping soldier of their uniform. You have chosen one to your liking, then? Excellent. I shall hide these ones where none will find them. Off a cliff? Our sleeping beauties have been laid to rest in their bunks. Oh, and while I was in the barracks, I happened upon these spare uniforms. In case the items in your possession are not to your liking. Okay. Let's... So she stole a bunch of stuff from them. Okay. This Kabuto and Teko should match the Uwagi, Hakama, and Choka in your possession. And with that, you have a full set. I'm sure that once you change, it will seem as though it was bespoke. You will need to give the Imperial the soldiers guarding the village a proper Imperial salute to complete the deception and convince them to come here, where I will be waiting to deal with them. <laughs> well, when did I get that? Son of a bitch.
<laughs> nice. Do I have anything else I need to equip? I'm suddenly very concerned. I have better than... Yes. And ye yes. Okay. Man, I can't come across these bastards. Don't look my way. Whew. All right. There it is. Is it time already? Not that I'm complaining. Fine, but I thought the others would be gone longer. Is that? Yeah, that's a woman. Rogan, then, judging by how tall she is. Changing the guard isn't about bloody time. Just looking at these on is making me depressed. Reminds me of when I was in there, she was pissing myself in fear. Oh man, I could've gone the back way? Son of a bitch, I could've avoided that shit. Well, most of it. Hey, these weren't both female, were they? I mean, that one's a rogue, dude. This one shall sleep soundly along with the others. And with that, there are no more soldiers' troubles. I can dispose of that cursed uniform tomb. And it's time to guide the villagers to freedom. Hold on a sec. And change to that, which I should have known I had. Alright, let's. Let's do this. Come on, Brickman. God, I miss fucking Dragon's Quest. Oh, I can't wait till they put Dragon's Quest 8 on uh, PS2 for PS4. Waiting forever for that. Wait a minute. No, it's... It's just a lift. Hello. Time to get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's get out of here, let's run. I see there's a few injured. Listen to me, all of you. We have dealt with the Imperials for now, but you must flee this place quickly. dealt with them. Oh no. You didn't kill them, did you? Christ. Are you mad? There's no escaping the Empire. Running will only make it worse. Jesus! Really? To stay is to die. You know this to be true. Even if you lack the will to fight, surely you have the will to live? Or has that too been beaten out of you? Is this what has become of Doma? Retainer, trained to fight without fear and obey without question. Well, we're not. We're lost and afraid. We hate this, all of this, but we can't do a damn thing to change it. And trying will only make it worse. It's a pathetic existence, but it's all we got. And when people like you come here pretending it can be different, it it doesn't help. All right? Jesus Christ! Suck it up! Elder, your face. 
We all have scars. Some too many to bear. Too many battles. Too much lost. Our friends, our family, even our liege. We who survived are forced to bend the knee to sell our souls and surrender our dignity. To that kind of person that sue you our is. heads when this shame weighs so heavily upon us. Your courage, your resolve, they are as salt in our wounds. They only knew what you would do for them, my lord. You have made your plight clear, and I shall impose my will no more. But know this, brothers and sisters of Doma. For all you have suffered, for all the horror and the ignominy, you are still here. You are still alive. My lord, my lord prays you value your life as highly as he does. As for me, I swear by all the Kami in creation that I will free you from this torment, no matter the cost. If the Imperials come for me, I will tell them we were tricked by an Ori woman. Tell them whatever you must, to keep your loved ones safe. Perfect time for Dawn to start. Dawn of a new day. Sometimes the timing, man. Why would you? After everything. Need to go. Apologies, Zubar. I was lost in thought. Mayhap they have the right of it. Mayhap we are fools for urging them to rise once more. Yet I believe, I have to believe, that in their heart of hearts, they, they still... Now is not the time. We must finish what we started. I have in my possession a powerful medicine that befuddles the mind and memories. We must administer it to the soldiers as they awake. The medicine will leave the soldiers confused and unable to clearly recall recent events. They will suspect that they fell asleep at their posts and be reluctant to discuss it with others. It is not more than a temporary measure, but we do, but we dare not kill them for the sake of the villages. Tend to the last two I put to sleep. I shall see to the others. Right, 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 right. Doo ba doo ba doo ba doo 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 doo. All right. Here you go. God. Whoa! Why are they there? Let's help out with this really quick. There you go. This one here. Um, 
Here we go. Spot for this one, huh? Here we go. <sighs> Time to find you, Geary. There she is. I wonder where she went. Okay, here we go. I'm guessing deep in thought over what those villagers said and thought and felt. And, oh, God. They need to fucking grow a pair. Yeah, I get what happened almost tragic, but God damn. That hard to find. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. All right, you're from. Despite the many great and noble things I said. In truth, I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the ruby sea. Yeah, I know. I met your parents. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. They are in good health, Ben. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. After a time, my skills were recognized and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Bosetsu. Good men all, brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them and Doma. But, in the end, Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind. That they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I don't think the Empire even has they exist, thankfully. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? Go ahead. <clears throat> he said, good. We are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But the people don't embrace it anymore. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, 
When those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. Yeah. Resolute, even in the face of everything we have seen, it heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. Well, I'm more personally involved than most of the other times. What the hell? What the hell is? Okay, great, growing ship. Airship. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. Why? What's that matter? If it's Yahtzee, you, who cares? Can't even get in there right now. But it, No. He wouldn't have left. Not even for some stupid booty call. There's no way Xenos is here. Hmm. Why would he even come? There's not really been anything wrong here. You've had one uprising by a pair of pirates, which the Guardians already want to do something about. Although, they did get very close to ending her life in the process. Hmm. Oh, for that psychopath to care about someone else other than himself. Hard to believe. For a lot of reasons. Hardly think Xenos is the kind of guy to get all worked up over his mistress being attacked. Uh, I doubt that greatly. Come, come, we must tell the others of this airship, or hear what they know of it. Alright, fine, let's get my genies. Calm down. It was just an airship. It's not Xenos! It might be Yotsuyu, but it's... It's not much? Oh, hello. Goodbye, I mean. There you are. What happened? Are the villagers alright? Yeah, they're fine. We freed them, along with many others. Kosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Know you aught of it? Aye, that we do. The Crown Prince has come to Doma. Crown Prince? The the Prince of Golemald. We suspect this is a result of recent events in Girabani. Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. Though Yotu governs Doma, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy. And it would seem he has come to assess the current situation in person. Xenos is a prince? I didn't know that. Or I forgot it. Xenos is here. Fucking phone. <clears throat> if Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. Not yet! <laughs> Not yet! I remember that fight. As much as I still want to kill him, I know we're not going to really stand much of a chance right now. Would that it were so simple, Lady Yugiri. You may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. We have seen firsthand what he can do. His power defies explanation. That's why I'm training. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. And me. We 
survived and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him, it will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. We know his strength. A prodigious swordsman trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. Nay, we keep to the shadows, the domain of the Shinobi, and thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. Even you won't be able to get close to him. That son of a bitch is always on the battlefield. There's no way he wouldn't notice you. Were this but a matter of personal revenge, I would not presume to buy your path, for I myself crave that same vengeance. But to draw steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's words. What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. You'll die in his hands, you Geary. Even should you succeed, Xenos' death will not win Doma her freedom. More likely, her doom. At what? You'll sue you? Give me another chance. I actually relish the opportunity to kill that bitch at this point. Can we defend our people against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child. dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! You hear it, wait! What now? Well, not much choice left. Guess I'm gonna go meet Xenos again. Won't be the same, though. Will beat his ass this time. Wow! Jesus Christ! Fine, I'll take the damn thing! God, Jesus! my new pants. Jesus, a lot. Jeez. Okay. I will not pursue her. It is for her to think on our master's words and recognize the futility of her course. Those, at least, are my thoughts upon the matter. Yours may be different. Should you wish to give chase, I will not bar your path. We each have but one life, and it is not to be spent recklessly in pursuit of our goals. I pray she realizes this soon. Yeah. Go get her. Crap. No. Oh. Hello, you give me all oh, God. Oh, poor choice in life. Oh, that hurt. Hey look, a little falcon. I want one. Or a hawk, I guess. <sighs> okay. Did Gosetsu send you to stop me? No. Then you came of your own free will? I should be surprised if you agreed with my chosen course. No one else did. But it's not as fanciful as they would have you believe. Scat moments ago, I received the Crown Prince's itinerary from one of our spies in the castle. It seems that Xenos has no desire to remain Doma any longer than necessary. He wishes to inspect the moon gates this e very eve. 
His impatience is to our advantage. He arrived without warning and gave Yotsuyu no time to prepare. The whole castle is in a state of upheaval. To avoid any delay, he has declined a full escort. He will be traveling with no more than a handful of soldiers. Yeah, because he can handle himself! The Kami could not have blessed us with more auspicious circumstances. I will kill him, you are. I will. You won't. But I'll be damned if you're doing it alone. Well, die trying. You understand the risks. Forgive me. Of course you do. May have better than I. But are you sure? Thank you. Thank you. I, I cannot well express what this means to me. We have much to discuss, but we can do so on the way. Yuzuku Ma Yuzuka Manor is some distance from here. We must hurry. Jeez. Stay calm. No one knows you were here. No one knows you saw anything. No one knows you overheard two rebels plotting to kill the crown prince. Gah, stupid, stupid, stupid. You know how this ends. I only have themselves to blame. You have to tell them. You have to. Zuka, man. Jesus, that's a ways away! Thanks, game. Oh, yes, we're gonna have you travel all the way. It's quite a ways away. Have fun with the fights and all that. You've hopefully done some exploring thanks to the quests. No, I didn't do any of that, because fuck you. I can just do dungeons and do that. And have a merry old time. We're not going to the Dumber Castle now. I assume that was like some level 60 bullshit I had to do. Like, end of the game. Taking out Yotsuyu and, um, um, Zenos. Mostly Yotsuyu. I imagine we'll take care of Zenos in a later patch or update or whatever. Um, yes, you'll be taking him out at some point, but not quite yet. Mm, you need to set through 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4 and then 4.4 you'll finally get to confront him. And then finally you'll kill him in 4.5, right before we start on the new game. Because that's how these... Uh, I, I try to be supportive of Square. I really do. I like a lot of their games. Actually, I do. I like a lot of their Final Fantasies. Especially the tactical ones. Um, and they've done some others. They helped out with Hitman, which I wish they'd go back and help finish that up. See, so, yeah, I actually do like a lot of their uh, properties and works and such. So, you know, there's that. What is this? Is that the manor up there? That broken ass fucking. Oh no, that's it. Oh, okay. Alright. This is far enough. Let's discuss our plan of attack. Okay. Sure. Defense alone is enough to make me consider this shit. Zeno's itinerary is as follows. He will depart Doma Castle by ship and approach the moon gates. The magic field will be deactivated briefly, allowing his vessel to pass. It will then continue onto these very docks, where he and his entourage will disembark. As you can see, this area is not ideal for an ambush. Wide open, multiple avenues escape, the manor is better suited to our needs. Let us slip and search for suitable hiding places. Okay. 
So I gotta go find a good like it's like an actual town sort of place because I see there's a repair thing in there. Can I go in? I think I can. I mean, I know I could fly in. Huh. I guess that's the front entrance. Ah, here we go. Survey, 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 survey. So my walls and servants location appears to be ideal for concealment. Alright. Ah, there you are. Hmm. From the roof, we would have a clear view of the docks. It is settled. We shall lie in wait here until Xenos arrives. As discussed, if all goes to plan, he shall fall with my first blow. If not, then the two of us will have to engage him in open combat. His escort is of no consequence which means that we will have a two-to-one advantage. Nevertheless, he's not to be underestimated. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't have the best gear like I did before. Oh, god damn it! Fucking... There we go. Okay. I mean, straight. I trust that you're ready. So here's I'm gonna be. Oh boy, I'm gonna fight Zenos again. Here we go. I don't know if I'm ready. I think I am. This isn't gonna be easy, regardless. Yeah, it really is. He'll sue you! At least one of them's gonna fucking die tonight. The village is not far, my lord. If it please you, we shall escort you there directly. than a graveyard, the rotting husk of a broken nation devoid of proper sport. Ah, but as his radiance wishes... Yes, yes of course, my lord. I, 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 and may I say how terribly sorry we are that you had to come so far. Long to sow the seeds of hatred, of fear, to train them as beasts. Now we shall see the harvest. Let there be savage beasts baying for blood, and not hollow eyed prey cowering in the dark, or there will be no joy in this hunt. What? He knows I'm here. There's no other way. Shit!
This is only the beginning. For Lord Kyan! For Dorma! Hmm. I'm here too, bitch. Oh, and you too, Zenos. Mayhap, I shall test this new blade of yours. Let us hope it is to my liking, lest your misfortunes compound. Then again, I loathe to expend such effort on the unworthy. Come, earn the honor. I'm gonna beat your fucking ass, Zenos. Not gonna be like the. No, oh, don't fucking quit on me now, you stupid controller. Oh, thank God, it's up. Oh, okay. Come on, load me in. I got this. Screw you, Yatsu! Shit! Forming the same one again! Not done with you yet, asshole. What the son of a bitch? Ah, oh, damn it. Like hell I'm going down this time! You stupid son of a bitch! Oh, no, 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 no. Up here, up here! Move! On. Damn it! This day you die. Leave this to me. What's that? Yeah. All right. Ah! Damn it! No, 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 no! No, I must fight on! I must! Run, beast! Run! Are you kidding me? How are you so strong? No, 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 no. Gotta find a way out of this. Actually, grown confident again. Yeah. 
Oh, did you think I was done? Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint. Call me that. One more time, asshole. No, 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 Monster is this asshole. Damn it. Still not enough. Ah, I remember you, Al Amigo, the champion of the savages. Look ye where the sun doth rise, see crimson embers darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall, see azure lost amidst the squall. I'm gonna kill you and take that sword. Oh, for the fuck's sake, you Gary. You are not worthy. Oh hell no. What the hell? Um What? any part of it but here we are I've spent my whole life hating myself for every time they made me beg for every time I held my tongue to protect the people I love and then you came along and reminded me of all the things I never said and never did and it was even worse I would have given anything to forget to walk away but I knew I'd never be able to live with the guilt So we came, all of us, for you, for ourselves, for Dora. Death is death, regardless of the reason. Yet you seem determined to die, intruding upon this sacred ground, turning weapons you can scarcely wield upon me. Your life's not even begin to redress the balance. 
Oh, come on. Can I please get up and kill this asshole? How wrong you are. Elise? Oh, thank you. Here we go. Let me up one more time. Go now. Gazetsu, see to you, Giri. Hi. I can't see a damn thing. Someone stop them. Oh, we could have gotten you in this raid. My lord. Your game is going to come to a very unhappy ending. The hell are we? Jesus, we've moved a ways away. I don't think we were followed. Gods, I have no idea what was going through that man's head. I am heartily glad he decided to leave. Oh, and don't thank us. Thank Alphanu. He's at the House of the Fears, patiently awaiting your gratitude? What's he doing here? I thought he was... What is going on? You should have seen the way he turned pale when you heard about Yugiri's plan. Now you, of all people, decided to help her. It was such a panic, barking noise, calling for a squadron to be assembled. As you, uh... It's rather composed, as I recall. Well, there's neither here nor there. Uh huh. Damn, I got my ass kicked. Though, not that easily this time. Almost there. Actually, I need to move that to here. Move that to here. I think that'll work. Yep. East is beside himself with emotion. This might be the final part, we'll see. Can you believe it? We faced the Crown Prince himself and lived to tell the tale. You have no idea what this means for us. Heaven's talking about getting more weapons and armor and, and... And we're not going to stop until we've taken back our homeland. Oh, right. Can you bear our health souls, aren't we? We've got wounded to tend to first. We should get back to the village. I can dig it. Jesus Christ! Oh, this is, uh, turned out to be a rather exciting episode after all. Fucking fighting the Emperor again! God! The Viceroy! God, I can't wait to kill him! If only we got in fucking Yotsuyu in this. Ugh. How are you feeling? After fighting that demon, I can only imagine. I suppose I ought to apologize to you for, you know. Anyway, uh, thank you for not giving up on us. The Shinobi, too. Yeah, yeah. the better for my comrades ministrations and your most generous hospitality you need not worry lucky that cut didn't do anything serious if there is anything else we can do for the two of you anything at all just ask Stare any harder and you're like to burn a hole in them. Go and say your piece, for goodness sake. <laughs> I've got nothing more to say to them. I'm going to find out how the others are getting on.
<laughs> Gosetsu, Mistress Alize, I owe you an apology. I acted with reckless disregard for my own safety and endangered I know not how many others in so doing. Scorning your wise counsel, I knowingly defied our master's wishes and left you no choice but to follow suit. Okay. Nonsense. I followed our master's wishes to the letter. Consider once more his words and the intent therein. In offering his head, he but sought to shield his people from harm, loyal retainers included. You must value your life more highly, Shadow Walker. On the other hand, your recklessness did serve as an inspiration to many. Mayhap you should not be so hard on yourself. <laughs> In any event, if you must apologize profusely, it seems only right that you expend as much effort thanking the one person who supported your plan from the first. Hey, I want the bastard dead after all. There are no words which will suffice. But thank you. Yeah. Wish I got to find him again. Next time I'll get him. And there they are. I see Alphonse here too. Well be praised. When I learned of your rather questionable plot to assassinate Xenos, I feared we would need to recruit a new primal slayer. You might have to if I ever have to encounter anything like. Oh, I'm not even gonna try and remember. Never mind. I'm sorry we couldn't be there. Alize made me swear to stay behind no matter what. I think she was worried I'd hurl myself at Xenos the moment I set eyes on him. Probably. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll forgive me for changing the subject, but now would seem a good time to discuss where we go from here. Though the Empire has yet to retaliate, the fact remains that we have revealed our presence and signaled our... Oh, shit, that's so right. It is only a matter of time before the Imperials move against us. Damn it, I forgot about that. Given that we lack the strength to oppose them, it is plain some manner of brilliant stratagem is required. Therefore, I yield the floor to the preeminent tactician of our time, with whom I was privileged to share the room. <laughs> if you insist. While in Kagane, we debated a number of approaches and were eventually forced to concede that we cannot look to the Alliance for aid. Wait, did he travel with us? I forget now. I thought he stayed behind. It's been a while since I played. Even were it possible to ferry sufficient forces and materiel from Eorzea in a timely manner, such a massive undertaking would not long escape the attention of the Empire. It would be a miracle if our ships reached the shore. Oh, that's true. Fortunately, according to Tataru and Hancock's intelligence, the Empire has withdrawn most of its forces from Doma in the past year, leaving her relatively unguarded. But why? That being the case, a popular uprising, spearheaded by the full might of the Doman Liberation Front, may feasibly be sufficient to threaten the seat of provincial government, namely Doma Castle. It would be rather easier said than done, of course, but I have seen worse plans prevail. Mm, then yeah. we must needs meet with Lord Hien and convince him to return, for there is no surer way to inspire our people to rise up as one. Oh? He desired proof of his subjects' conviction, and they have provided it, through no lesser deed than openly opposing Xenos himself. <laughs> it will work. It has to work. And next time, we will defeat him. I got this. I almost had him that time, but he used some weird technique that I wasn't ready for. 
Mm, bit of a boost. It'll go down next time. I'll make sure of it. I will be traveling to the Zim Step, Yuba. I found Lord Hien once before, and I'm confident I can do so again. Moreover, it was me who, whom he put the question of Doma's resolve. I feel it my duty to deliver to him our people's reply. And you, Gosetsu? Our countrymen's deeds speak for themselves. Lord Hien cannot deny the truth of their hearts. Too long has it been since I looked on his face. It would be of great comfort to see him again, and no small comfort if you were to join us in the search, I should add. You're going too, I see. All right, all right. Please. I wonder what kind of man he is. From what I heard, he's about the same age as me. And again, so is Fortula. Like her, he was born and raised in an imperial province. This is all he's ever known. But unlike her, he chose to do something about it. I want to meet him. I want to know why. Maybe if I understand that, it'll help me to understand a lot of other things. Okay. And, uh... Somebody over here needs talking to. So we do this. Oh, Alpha No and Alice. The beloved king returned to urge his countrymen to rise up in rebellion. That's story you did ever hear in a Charlene or you ever hear in Charlene or Ulda, is it? Not in those words, perhaps, but no land's people but no land's people is so cynical to be wholly immune to inspiration. Singular individuals have the power to move hearts and minds no matter where they go. Mm-hmm. That will you speak from personal experience. As much as this Lord here intrigues us, you are there are vital tests to be attended to here. Preparations for the inevitable assault on Dome Castle, for one. There's also the matter of coordinating our efforts with the Confederacy and our comrades in Kugane, dealing with this troublesome Aetherite. I could go on, but you understand. So now what? Aye, so it goes. We all have our responsibilities. We should depart for the Azim step at once. You will be joining us, Yuba. Yep. Can't wait to meet this guy. For our part, we shall do what we can to aid the Dome in liberation from your absence. We will refrain from conducting large scale operations in your absence and set the voter our entries to bolster in our ranks and train our new recruits. When you return, we will be ready for war. If anything happens, if you need us to come back sooner, you'd better contact us. Noble sacrifice is our last resort, remember? Follow me, my friends. We have many moms to travel before we reach reunion. Wait, don't leave yet! Here, take these to the road. It's simple, foul, but it's the least we can do for you after what you did for us. Maybe stupid and naive of me to say this, but I will. When you come back, we'll finish what we started. We'll beat the Imperials and we'll win our freedom. So. Don't keep us waiting too long. Oh my god, I can fly! Oh lord, cutscene. <sighs> Meanwhile, in the keep of Doma Castle. What's going on there? I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. <laughs> Prepare the airship. His radiance will not object. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. Oh no, what have they found? That Shinryu. Whoa! What the hell? Do you understand why I appointed you to act in my stead? 
You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. The hell? I thought... Because of your petty hatreds, they render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope. To make an example of Doma. Such as was ordered. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. Do your duty now, or die with the rest of them. Jesus. Are you all right, my lady? That was uncalled for. Oh. Whoa! They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. I want him dead. I want his friends dead. I want the heads of everyone he knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. Dream. That won't get the help to you. <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance. I promise you, my lady, he won't escape this time. Not this time. Oh no. I think I might actually enjoy killing the Vicery more than I might enjoy killing her. Jesus Christ, now I'm gonna fucking gear Bonnie again. Jesus. This must be the halfway point. Shit. Was this episode 10? <laughs> By 20, we'll finish. Oh shit, was that one happened sword wise? Fuck. Are they original? Oh my god, it's Stidian. He's got the lance. It's Stidian. His shade was banished. You swore to leave this life behind. Yet here you are. Where are you? Where is he? The eyes? Garbania? It's at the fringes of Garbania. Take a look really quick. 65, yeah. Oh! Guys, we've reached the halfway point. This is it. We're halfway through Stormblood. Damn. Is Stinian's making a return? He's in Garabania. I guess I'll do it for this episode. I don't really know what I can say to 
kind of sum this up or whatever. You all watched it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this because I sure as hell did. This was another fun one. If you like this and you want to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button or and remember to turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I post a new video. This or any other. If you want to let me know you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button or leave a comment or do both. It's up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Fuck you! Oh, shit! No! Oh, oh, fucking hell! Oh, shit, Rick.